how to add a contact form on GoDaddy Website Builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to implement or add a contact form into your GoDaddy website. So we are going to head over to GoDaddy website uh, by heading over to GoDaddy.com, sign in for an account and visit our account by heading over the products. So the products are going to be the websites that you have created, of course. Select the website or the right website that you want to implement the contact form and then you are going to find the dashboard of it. Once you have visited the dashboard of that specific website, you're going to focus on the right side of the screen and it is going to show up the status of the website, draft or published, and also the name, the as you can see here, um, the uh, website uh, subdomain and the editing option. Click on edit website and it is going to open up the website builder from GoDaddy. Now, what can I do basically is add a section and this is going to be very simple. I can go ahead and head over the end of the specific, uh, as you can see here, uh, right there, um, uh, part of the website. Click on add section and as you can see, here we have already a contact us or a contact form. I'm going to delete it. So I'm going to add it from scratch. This is going to be integrated within the website, uh, I think, from uh, the scratch or from the beginning. Click on add section. And then we are going to have here the categories of the uh, sections that we can add. Basically, normally you are going to click on contact. Here we have contact us. So the contact us is going to have the contact form, the map, also the uh, information that you can go ahead and put. So here we have, as you can see, a lot of contact forms that we can have here. So we can go ahead and add a lot of them, but you only need to focus for the those who does have a field or some fields like that. This is the pure contact form that you're going to find on the web. You're going only to see the sections or the fields that you're going to implement. Also, we have some of the, um, let's say, designed ones. So let's add this one because it is going to have maybe the uh, map and also the, uh, let's say the uh, localization or the address that you're going to put. You can go ahead and put the localization of yours and here we have it. Now for the contact form, as you can see, you're going to have here, for example, the uh, title, the name or the fields and etc. So I can go ahead and manage the fields. And I can, you can see that we can add up to 14 fields. All you need to do is to click on add, and then you're going to put in the type or the field name and also the input type. If it is going to be a single line text, multi-line text, phone number, and etc. The button of send or submit, you're going to name it whatever you want, is going to save these informations that has been input on the input in here and save it to your the personal space on GoDaddy account. So we are going to get all the information in here. And as you can see, you're going to have the contact form sent as a, to the email address that you have. So it is not going to be stored on GoDaddy, but it is going to be stored into your email address and it is okay. So aside from the specific, as you can see, fields in here, you can see that we have the email, the input, these are going to be the same. You can make a specific, um, let's say here, field um, shown as required or not. So you can go ahead and show up the contact form. Maybe I'm going to select a field and you can make the field required or not. This is going to be very simple. I would like to use the implemented one or the contact form that has been created by um, GoDaddy. It is going to be good because it is going to storage everything on your email address. But instead, or in case that you do not like the layout of it or something that is not going to be working well, you cannot add some automation in it or something like that, you can use JotForm. JotForm is going to be a, a website or a platform that will help you to create forms, agents, and etc. And these are going to be very, very specific and uh, advanced into the term of designs. Um, let's say here are the fields and widgets. So as you can see, this is a form that I have created from JotForm. I can go ahead and create it from scratch or have it just like that as a free template or preset template. Then we're going to publish it by an embedded code. Copy that code in here, head over your GoDaddy website, add it as a section, 
for the files and web um, as you can see category click on add HTML add again for example and copy paste the code just like that and you're going to find the specific form that you have created in here so that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one